In benchmark analysis, you can compare the energy consumption of your own properties with the consumption of the properties in the entire database of the platform. The report gives you an overview of how much energy your properties consume compared to others of the same building type. To create a benchmark report, first select the time period of the consumption data. You can choose between a rolling 12 months or any full calendar year. Next, select the facility type you want to compare. Available quantities are heating energy, electricity, and total energy. Heating includes all different forms of heating, and you can also select measured or normalized heating consumption. Last choose which building volume or area type you want to use to calculate specific consumption. In the figure, the size of the sphere indicates the absolute consumption of the facility. The bigger the sphere, the higher the consumption. The location of the sphere in y-axis shows the specific consumption of the facility. The higher the sphere's location in the figure, the higher the specific consumption is. Location in the x-axis shows the size of the building in selected property. The further to the right the facility is, the larger the facility. The different colored lines in the figure indicate the threshold values for the facilities in the database. For example, the 80% line means that 80% of the database's facilities are below that level of specific consumption. The lines may have a slight curve, because typically small facilities may have a higher average specific consumption than larger facilities. By hovering over the sphere, you can see the name of the facility, absolute consumption, specific consumption, and size. You can zoom the figure with mouse wheel or by holding down shift key and selecting the area you want to view. You can also hide any reference line or spheres inside certain quantile by clicking the checkboxes in the table legend. The table below the graph has the basic filtering functionalities and filtering the table also applies to the graph with the same conditions. More columns can be added from the Columns button where you can find for example facility properties and technical specifications.